and welcome to Space Lab Videolog. My name is Teijo Laine. I'm Juho Salmio. And we both work for a company called Reactor. In the company we really want to learn by doing and now we would be really interested to learn about space technology. And therefore we are currently working on something like this. So it's a CubeSat type satellite and we actually want to be hands-on making it function, send it to space and really learn more about working with space technologies. And neither of us have any like background in radio or electrical engineering. And we are both software engineers, so this is all new to us and really interesting. That's why we kind of want to share all this stuff also from a newbie person perspective. This video series is more about the practical stuff and we are gonna show uh, what we have been doing. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter with the hashtag reactor space to see more daily stuff. We visit the other university and the space factory spin-off company there. They are helping us build the hardware and assemble the satellite. Hardware wise based uh, a lot on the ALDO-1 and 2 satellites. So we said we are software engineers, so we don't know too much about the electrical and radio stuff, but we want to get hands-on with everything regarding the software and also do learn a lot about the hardware. Here we have a CubeSat, it's like 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, and we are working on two unit uh, sized. Basically the reason for the two units is that we get more solar panels and more power and we can yeah, run more stuff. And the stuff we got first week from the guys at the university is basically the power supply board and then the uh, radio uh, UHF board. So we can already build some radio link communication and integrate it with our flight computer, which we have a development version here. So it's quite small. The, you can just plug it into the computer and uh, start uh, flashing the firmware and doing the software development. Another thing we have here is uh, Hackerraft software defined radio. So this is our ground station radio and the, all the radio pr processing is done in software after the, this uh, device. So that means that we can configure it uh, much more in flexible manner. Yeah. We will go into more technical details later. We have a camera, uh, then we have one uh, development board for ARM processor. And um, so this is the one that has a lot of computing power. The flight computer is more like industrial grade uh, shielded and uh, won't break so easily. It doesn't have to be too powerful. And uh, the radio board itself has a microcontroller and a radio chip and the microcontroller basically helps to integrate all these subsystems over CAN. So most of the cables you see here are just for attaching all the subsystems together. And uh, one useful tool is a CAN analyzer so you can hook your computer in there and inject messages and follow what's going on in between uh, subsystems. Basic hardware setup so, so we'll, we'll come to cover this in much more detail. And, but we'll refer to this later, so now you kind of know what we work on day-to-day -day basis in, in hardware-wise. So send us questions, follow hashtag reactor space, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you!